Hi everybody, it's Glenn and welcome to the Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You know that I appreciate each and every one of you. So, what have we got today? From Hoffman's, we have uh, Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. We've got the Splash as well. We are using um, a Henson razor. And we've got a uh, very unique brush from Umo right here. So let's take a look at the soap. Here it is, Metamorphosis, and you've got uh, Medusa on the label. She is a terrifying individual, right? Look at that. Beautiful label. Let's open it up. Here is the Hoffman's Pour. Mm. I get a very fresh, fresh kind of green, little fruity. Let's see what uh, the website says about the soap. Medusa represents a dangerous threat meant to deter other dangerous threats. Evil fighting evil. We proudly offer you metamorphosis. Scent notes, green tea, fig, Asian pears, Indian sandalwood, Chinese white pine. Another whiff. It's very nice. It's, um, it, it's a full medium off of the container. And I like it. One thing I'll say is when I saw this label, I expected something dark, spooky. This is not like that at all. You know, and sometimes in the hobby, you'll find labels really don't match um, the scent notes of the soap. <laughs> for today from Umo. Look at that. Very, very unique. Umo in the front and some uh, Chinese writing in the back. Um, this is from their uh, Confucianism series. It is a, a T4 Tyrant Hand Tied Badger Knot. Very dense Beautiful knot, took some breaking in, but once it was broken in, what a fantastic uh, shave it was. Um, this was a, a lather hog in the beginning, but it's calmed down and it's, uh, the T4 is a fantastic knot. Love this brush, very, very nice. Razor for today from uh, Henson. It's kind of a drab army green, which uh, matches the theme of this shave. Let's open it up. Here's a better look at the Henson handle. Here is the uh, plate, and this is a double plus plate. Here is the cap. We're going to put in a uh, feather blade on its second use. So let's open up the blade. Get it out of its wrapper. Feather uses so much glue, but the feather blade works so well in this Henson razor. Here we go, uh, ready to use. Okay, gonna put some uh, soap in the uh, Captain's Choice Bowl 
and uh, make some lather. Okay, I think we're uh, ready in the lather department. A thing of beauty. Oh, it smells great, it smells great. Let's get rid of the glasses, wet the face and start the shave. Have my expert grill meat baster. It works great at a barbecue as well. I'm going to use some PAA Star Jelly uh, Menthol Pre-Shave. I love this stuff and you can't get it anymore. And let's get some uh, soap to the face. Brush is a 27 millimeter. Great knot. Scent is wonderful. I would say it's actually a, uh, a spring scent and not a Halloween scent. But it's great nevertheless. Robert, he did a great job. Oh, I love this brush. Again, in the beginning, it was a little tough to break in, but now it is fantastic. This brush is from the Confucianism series. They made a bunch of colors. Oh, we're going to talk about uh, the last leg of my um, road trip as well, days 30, 30 to 36. Three and a half days worth of growth. Coming off no problem. Feather in the Henson. I think the feather brings the uh, Henson razor to life, actually. Hope your uh, Thanksgiving plans are going well. This is the week. We're having family over, lots of stuff to get done. If you're traveling during the holidays, travel safe. Don't you love this hobby? So many great things to try and use. So many artisans make this hobby a joy. A little more water. And lather up for pass number two. Great soap, great brush, 
Great Razor. Life is good. That's all I can say. So, finally, the end of the epic 36 day road trip, pass number two. So days 30 to 36, what we did actually was um, drive from Canmore in the Canadian Rockies a two-day stop in uh, Toronto, and then home. So, it's good to get away, but great to get home after being away for 36 days. So day 30, we um, left Canmore, drove to Moose Jaw, Moose Jaw, and we took the um, Trans-Canada Highway, and most of that road, after you leave the Rockies, it's just flat and desolate. That's it. Not much to see. Um, very few services, very few uh, gas stations. So if you ever take that road, make sure you keep your tank full. We clocked 180 miles before we found the gas station actually. So very, very desolate. We stayed in the Grant Hall Hotel, which um, is a historic hotel in Moose Jaw. Very nice. Day 31, we drove to um, Winnipeg, stayed in the Alt Hotel. Lather up for pass number three. Scent is incredible on this. Very, very nice. But again, in my opinion, not a Halloween soap. More of a spring soap. But that's okay. You don't have to stick by the seasons to do whatever you like. Day 32, um, we drove um, from Winnipeg to uh, Thunder Bay, stayed in, where did we stay? We stayed in the Valhalla Hotel in Thunder Bay. Day 33, we drove to Sault Ste. Marie. We were gonna do a uh, tour of the locks. I guess it was Lake Superior, but um, the boat decided not to go that day, unfortunately. Day 34, we drove to Toronto and the scenery, and I think it was Lake Superior, was absolutely magnificent driving um, to Toronto. And we stayed for two days in Toronto. Had a great time, loved the city. Took one of those hop on, hop off bus tours. Really enjoyed the St. Lawrence Market. Had lunch there. Just a great place. Stayed in the Omni King Edward Hotel, which is historic and beautiful. And the next day, we drove home. So I hope you enjoyed um, 
seeing a bit of this uh, road trip. And thanks for coming along for the ride. Okay, let's see how we did. A few trouble spots. I'll take care of them right now. Okay, I think we're done and it's a BBS shave, I'm happy to say. Um, if you've watched me in the past, you know we don't waste any of that glorious lather that could be left in the brush or the bowl. Scoop it up one more time, get it on the face. Do it for a couple of reasons. One, it smells great and you can enjoy that scent a little bit longer. Two, it's good for your face. And three, if you've missed any areas at all, you can pick them up and fix them. Nothing missed, let's rinse. Okay, very nice shave. Very nice springtime shave in November. And uh, here's my uh, Roombo towel, really nice. Going to use some witch hazel, and it's going to be Quinn's, if I can find it here. It is Quinn's um, Orange Grapefruit from the UK. If you have not tried Quinn's Witch Hazel, I urge you to do that. Get it on Amazon. Just incredible scents in that Witch Hazel. Very nice. Let's do a bit of an air dry before we use the splash. Okay. Metamorphosis. Give it a good shake. Crack it open. Oh boy, so nice. Mm. And I pick up the green tea right now. What a luscious scent. Beautiful. Robert, you did a great job. Thank you so much for all that you do for us in the hobby. I appreciate it. Okay. Time for the glasses and a quick recap. We used Metamorphosis from Hoffman's. Metamorphosis. We used Splash. And again, delicious scent. Loved it. We used a uh, Henson razor. Beautiful green color. It's the double plus plate. Let me rinse off this brush so you can see it better. It's uh, a new little brush. The Confucianism series. There it is, wet and wonderful. Umo in the front, some Chinese writing in the back. T4 Tyrant, not fantastic. Have a very, very happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm thankful for a lot, including this wonderful hobby and some of the wonderful people I have met because of this hobby. So happy Thanksgiving. Love you all and see you soon.